Colorado making history today. Lawmakers naming Mark Farazino as the Speaker of the House. He'll be the first openly gay lawmaker ever to preside over the chamber. 7 News reporter Russell Haythorn live at the Capitol. Now, Russell, this would seem to pave the way for another civil unions battle after similar legislation died in the Republican-controlled House just six months ago. Right, Mike. And today here at the state capitol, Ferrandino not only pledged to take a second look at the civil unions issue, but he said he also wants to look at hate crimes legislation as well as other protections for LGBT families. It was a rather jubilant ceremony for the Capitol's standards. Congressman Perlmutter doing cartwheels and a standing oath for the new speaker who talked about taking some hard knocks growing up as a special ed child in New York. I was a kid that was picked on, called names. To be where I am and to have your support to do that is, is awesome. I couldn't dream when I was in elementary school or high school that I'd be standing here doing this. A nice moment before the nomination when outgoing Republican speaker Frank McNulty came to congratulate Ferrandino. Before on the opposite side of the Capitol, Republicans nominated Mark Waller as minority speaker. Our agenda moving forward is making sure we're doing our part to get the people of the state of Colorado back to work. I don't think that's changed with this election in any way. Ferrandino says in addition to jobs, he plans to focus on civil unions, second parent adoption, and hate crimes. 20 years ago, Amendment 2 passed in Colorado, uh, and now we have our first openly gay speaker. I think that's an amazing turnaround for our state and speaks volume for how much we've yeah. grown. We have a lot of challenges ahead of us in this state, uh, and I look forward to working with the governor and my Republican colleagues to find common sense, practical solutions. And these new leaders won't take office officially here at the state capitol until the new session begins in about two months on January 9th. For now, we're live at the state capitol. Russell Haythorn, 7 News.